Hello everyone. This is Gayatri Priya, Assistant Professor in the Department of EC of RMD Engineering College. In today's session of Electron Devices and Circuit Theory, we are just going to discuss about the concept of that is exploration of star delta transformation. So in almost all the electrical network, we will be having the impedances that is resistances. Okay. So impedances in the sense resistance, inductance as well as your capacitance that might connect either in the form of this star or in the delta. Okay. So in order to simplify them, we need to know about the star to delta as well as delta to star transformations. Right. As discussed already, this is going to be a arrangement of passive elements that is R, L and C which neither remain in series or in the parallel combination. So what is a star network? We are going to take three resistances R1, R2 and R3. Such a way those three resistances are connected in the form of a T-shape. That is each end of the three resistor are tagged together at a single point. This is called a star network. These are the different ways of drawing a star network. Right? So coming to the delta network, it will be in the form of a closed mesh. That is in the form of a delta shape. If the resistances are arranged in the form of delta, okay, then that is called a delta network. The resistance in between A and C can be written as RAC. And the between A and B it is called RAB. And this is called RBC. Right? These are the different ways of connecting a delta circuit. Right? First let us concentrate on delta to star. How an electrical network in delta form can be converted into a star form. Okay? This R2 can be mentioned as RAC. This R3 can be mentioned as RBC. This R1 can be mentioned as RAB. Okay? Right. So what we are going to see? As we know, if I want to calculate the equivalent resistance in between this RA and RB in the sense, these two resistance are in series. That series combo is parallel to that of this R1 resistance. Right? You could see RAB is equal to series combo of R2 and R3 parallel with R1. Right? Similarly, the impedance between B and C can be calculated as R3 parallel combo with the series combination of R1 and R2. Similarly, the impedance between A and C. Okay, this frames equation number 1, 2 and 3. Now we are going to uh, make the connections. That is adding all the equations 1, 2 and 3. So according to the star network, this RAB can be written as RA plus RB. RBC can be written as RB plus RC. And this can be written as RA plus RC. Okay. So on simplifying this expression, we are getting the equation as R A plus R B plus R C is equal to R1 R2 plus R2 R3 plus R1 R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Let it be equation number 4. Right. So already we have calculated these things. Now I am going to subtract equation 1, 2 and 3. 1 by 1 from equation 4. First I am subtracting equation 2 from equation 4. We are getting the RA resistance is equal to R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Let it be equation number 5. Similarly, we can calculate what is RB and what is RC. Right? So if in a delta network all the three impedances are of same value, then the equivalent R resistance is going to be one third of the delta resistance. Coming to the star to delta conversions. Already we have calculated the equations. Okay. Now we are going to multiply equation 5 and 6. Equation 6 and 7. Equation 5 and 7. So that we will be calculating what is RARB, RBRC and RCRA. Okay. Already we have found what is this uh, the thing. I am just going to add up all these equations. And this equation number 11 constitute of RARB plus RBRC plus RARC divided by this things. Right? So if I want the resistance R3, right? I can just divide by this RA. Okay? Divide by R1, R2 by R1 plus R2 plus R3. 
we will be getting this sort of expression. Similarly, if I divide by Rb, I will be getting R2. If I divide by Rc, I will be getting R1 resistance. Okay. So, actually, the delta impedance connected with opposite polarity will be equivalent to that of the sum of product of the star impedances divided by the star impedance of that corresponding terminal. Okay. This can be simplified like this also. So, if we are going to have similar value of resistance in case of the star, the delta equivalent is going to be thrice that of the star resistances. Right? Here, for your easy understanding, the conversion between delta to star and star to delta is being given for a kind reference. Hope you understand this session. Thank you.